Hello and welcome to Recyclist. It's February 2nd, 2024. I'm your host, Eric Provost, and this is your weekly roundup of all the biggest news stories in the world of waste, gas, and energy presented by Diamond Scientific. First up, and as always, let's take a quick look at the stock market and five stocks on the rise this past week within the world of waste, gas, and energy. As of February 2nd, 2024, waste management stock is currently at an asking price of $188.39. Chevron Corps stock is currently asking $149.07. Chenier Energy is up to $163.25. Van Eck Low Carbon Energy is currently at an asking price of $101.52. And Vanguard ESG is currently at an asking price of exactly $90. But moving into the news, first up in Washington State, NW Natural, a subsidiary of NW Natural Holding Company, is set to construct a state-of-the-art $43 million renewable natural gas facility in East Wenatchee. The project will be located at the Greater Wenatchee Regional Landfill, marking a promising collaboration between the energy sector and waste management. The facility's primary objective is to convert landfill gas into approximately 300,000 metric million BTUs of natural gas annually, effectively heating around 10,000 homes in the region. The Renewable Energy Initiative is anticipated to commence operations next year. And up next, the TerraCycle Global Foundation, a nonprofit founded by TerraCycle itself, announced this past week it has removed over 2 million pounds of waste from rivers, canals, and waterways through the use of its world class river waste prevention system. James Scott, the executive director of TerraCycle Global Foundation, said, quote, We take a holistic approach to reducing plastic waste in waterways. Reaching this waste removal milestone is only the beginning of the Foundation's work to clean our oceans and preserve the planet. It's our mission to enact meaningful, long-lasting change that can be replicated worldwide. End quote. And now moving to Nebraska, the city of Lincoln was recently chosen for the EPA's Recycling Education and Outreach Grant to receive $1.7 million. The city will use the grant funds to form three new focus groups to engage minorities, new Americans, and low-income individuals living in Lincoln's 14 underserved census tracts, which include college students at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. Lincoln's mayor said, quote, The city is grateful for this EPA recycling education and outreach grant as we pursue important local goals to reduce food waste 50% by 2030 and to decrease the amount of recyclable materials in our landfills 80% by 2040. The grant will help promote sound, sustainable waste management practices that extend the life of our landfills, saving taxpayer dollars. End quote. And just a reminder, Recyclist is brought to you by Diamond Scientific, an industry leader in gas analysis, instrumentation, and solutions. Make sure to visit them online at diamondsci.com, that's diamondsci.com, or call them at 321-223-7500. Now let's get into some local headlines. The year-end report for the Keep Arkansas Beautiful Commission showed volunteers had cleaned up 636 tons of litter in 2023. This amount was recovered by over 22,500 volunteers and was a 27% increase over the previous year, as well as a 10-year high point, according to commission officials. Shay Lewis, the Arkansas Department of Parks, Heritage, and Tourism Secretary, said, quote, In an effort to increase engagement, civic responsibility, and overall conservationism, the Keep Arkansas Beautiful staff had the goal to attract at least 20,000 volunteers in 2023, which they exceeded. We have not seen participation numbers like this in nearly 10 years. End quote. Now moving up to Seattle, be aware if you live in the city, Seattle Public Utilities has banned all batteries and some electronics from being disposed of in the garbage due to being a fire risk. The ban includes small button and alkaline batteries, lithium ion batteries used in electric bikes and vehicles, and items with batteries embedded in them. Electronic items like computers, monitors, and TVs also cannot be thrown in the garbage. 
Seattle Fire Department Chief Harold Scoggins said that his department alone has responded to 79 lithium-ion battery fires in the past two years, saying, quote, This is a growing fire safety concern across the nation as consumers purchase more items with lithium-ion batteries. Fires involving batteries can start and spread quickly, so proper storing, charging, and disposing of batteries becomes key to preventing fires where injuries and property loss could occur. End quote. And now moving to Ohio for our last couple stories. In 2023, it was announced Licking County residents collected more than 5 million pounds of material in the 23 public drop-off recycling sites throughout the county and throughout government buildings. Rumpke of Ohio Incorporated empties the bins and sorts the material for processing. Coshocton, Fairfield, Licking Perry Solid Waste District and the Licking County Board of Commissioners fund the Licking County Recycling Program. Licking County Recycling Director Andrea Crava said, quote, We have been averaging between 5 and 5.5 million pounds collected yearly in the last couple of years. We've also seen a very low contamination rate of about 5% for the last few years. That means Licking County residents are doing a very good job of putting the correct items into their recycling bins, end quote. And lastly, a new multi-million dollar aluminum recycling facility is coming to Defiance County. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine's office said that MMX Aluminum is expected to create 180 full-time positions, generating $14.4 million in new annual payroll. The $253 million Metal X facility specializes in assembling, sorting, recycling, and wholesale distribution of aluminum scrap and waste materials. The proposed project will focus on constructing an aluminum recycling and rolling slab facility on a 190-acre campus, according to Regional Growth Partnership. Erica Willitzer, the executive director of Defiance County Economic Development, said, quote, We are ecstatic. Metal X chose Defiance County. We know this new investment is going to have a transformative impact on our local families and Northwest Ohio for generations to come. End quote. And that has been your Recyclist News Update for February 2nd, 2024, presented by Diamond Scientific. I've been your host, Eric Provost, and we'll see you back here next week for a brand new episode of Recyclist. Thank you.